So three slightly different trig equations when we have a value in front of theta. In number 10, trig 10, we didn't have this value in front of theta. So you'll always be given this type of uh, range of values for your solutions. So let's have a look at the first one. We go about them the same way as the previous video with trig equations one. If you're not sure what angle gives a half when you get the sign of it, type into your calculator the inverse sign of 1 over 2 or 0 0.5 and it will give you an answer of 30 degrees so what we say here we're looking for the other angle so let's just do a quick unit circle we know there's more than one angle in the unit circle so here's my 30 sign is positive in here here's my other 30 so I've got two angles you can see the second one is going to be 150 so let's write out my solution I've got the sine of 2 theta is equal to 30 or 150 now there will be more solutions but let's just have a look at 2 theta is equal to these values what's theta equal to 15 and we're asked to solve for theta 75 now we want all values if we go back up here between 0 and 360 so if i rotate a full rotation from 30 if i go all the way around i'm back to this point i'm going around another circle you can see i'm going around 360 so i'm going to add 360 on to my 30 to get 390 I'm going to add 360 to my 150 to get 510 so let's see what other solutions this gives me that's going to give me 390 divided by 2 which is 195 510 divided by 2 which is 255 and let's just check the next one there may be more solutions so we're going to add 360 to 390 we're rotating around again that's going to give me 750 and you can see if we divide that by two we're going to be above 360 so my final solution will be the 255 so it's going to give a value of 375 which is not one of my solutions so these four solutions are my values for theta for sine 2 theta is equal to a half so you guys try now the second two pause the video and we'll look at the solutions now in a minute okay cos 3 theta is equal to 1 over root 2 what angle gives a value of 1 over root 2 if you get the cos of it 45 what other angle let's look at a unit circle where is cos positive it's positive in here so what angle is this all the way around we're going to take 45 from 360 to get 315 how many more solutions will i have well let's get theta first and then see so if 3 theta is 45 and 315 theta is 15 degrees and 105 if we add 360 to 45 you can see here we're going to be adding if we're adding 360 on and then dividing by 3 we're going to be adding 120 to each, each solution so it might be an easier way to do it but let's just show that that's the case so 120 on top of 15 is 135 let's show why add 360 to 45 and you're going to get 405 and if we divide 405 by 3 we're going to get 135 which we said was 120 on top of 15 so do the same here for the 105 next solution will be 120 and 105 which is 225 we need to keep going here because it's 3 theta we're going to have more than 4 solutions so now we're adding my 120 to my 135 to get 255 and if I add 120 to 225 I'm going to get 345 and you can see there that I'm right up to 360 so I've actually got 6 solutions this time to this equation so when it's 3 theta you're going to add on 120 when it was 2 theta in the previous video you can see that we added 180 on between these two and between these two so you can do it that way as well and let's do it for that let's do it that way for the last one which is tan of 2 theta is equal to root 3 the tan of 2 theta is equal to root 3 and you're all saying well the tan of 60 is equal to root 3 and you'd be correct so you've got 60 where else is tan positive in here so let's draw 60 
So we're going to have 180 plus 60, 240. So my values here are 2 theta is equal to 60, 240. If I add 360 onto 60, 420. If I add 360 onto 240, I'm going to get 500. So we can do it this way. Let's see what, what we're going to get for our solutions. Theta is equal to 30, 120. 210 and you can see we've added 180 on because we're dividing 360 by 2 uh, 250 I'm not saying that should be 600 of course it should so 300 and if we add we're going to get above 360 aren't we if we add 180 onto 120 the next solution will be 400 which we don't need so my four solutions are these four so try these again and attempt more questions from your book and hopefully you've mastered trig solving trig equations